So I'm just reading up on this today. It was posted about an hour ago, and it's telling us that Apple is going to allow third-party app stores in Windfall for NFTs and crypto. It says, in a win for crypto app developers, incoming EU laws will force Apple to permit alternative app stores and apps without the need to go through its app store. Tech giant Apple is gearing up to permit third-party app stores on its devices to comply with new anti-monopolistic requirements for the European Union, which could be seen as a huge win for crypto and NFT app developers, at least in Europe. Under the new rules, European customers would be able to download alternative app marketplaces outside of Apple's proprietary app store, thus allowing them to download apps that skirt Apple's 30% commissions and app restrictions, according to December 13th Bloomberg report citing those familiar with the matter. Currently, Apple has stringent rules for NFT apps that practically force users to go through an app purchases subject to Apple's 30% commission while apps are not permitted to support cryptocurrency payments. So there's been a lot going on with this um, in the past. Everyone's uh, heard of Apple's 30% commission that they charge any time anybody makes a purchase through their platform. So recently Coinbase had came out with a, oh right here, Apple's enforcement of its rule led to a block of Coinbase self-custody wallet app update on December 1st as Apple wanted to collect 30% of the gas fees through in-app purchases, something that is clearly not possible according to Coinbase. So that's great, you know, I, I, I remember December 1st, I heard this um, and how they weren't able to release that update because of gas fees and and apple wanting the 30 percent it's like something not even possible it's not even doesn't make sense it then claimed apple wanted the wallet to disable nft transactions if they couldn't be done through its in-app purchase system alex Saunikov, co-founder of nft marketplace rarible tweeted on december 13th in response to the news that a crypto app store could be built and would be a great candidate for a venture capitalist back startup. Apple's move to open its ecosystem is in response to the EU's Digital Market Act aiming to regulate so-called gatekeepers and ensure platforms behave fairly with part of the measure allowing third parties to interoperate with the gatekeeper's own service. It will be applicable starting May 2023 with businesses uh, needing to fully comply by 2024. Apple hasn't decided if it will comply with a part of the act allowing developers to install alternative payment systems within apps that don't involve Apple. If it does comply, it could open up payment systems that allow cryptocurrencies. So this is another huge little part in here. I mean, it's huge, especially for developers who want to develop on Apple, but that 30% hurts when you're trying to build a viable product that's going to produce. Under consideration by the tech giant is mandating security requirements for software outside of its store, such as verification from Apple in a bid to protect users against unsafe apps. So this is a huge thing. Apple is built around this whole security concept that having that tight system allows them to better monitor for, for viruses and for unsafe applications. This is a big part. The tech giant is mandating security requirements for software outside of its store, which I think is good. Um, I mean, what is that going to look like, though? What will be those security requirements that are mandated? So the changes of Apple's closed ecosystem would apply only within the EU. Other regions would need to pass similar laws, such as the proposed Open App Markets Act in the United States Congress from Senators Marsha Blackburn and Richard Blumenthal. So that, that's, that's a lot to unpack, but to keep it short, giving developers access to an app store outside of Apple's app store would allow a whole new marketplace with apps that wouldn't be subject to Apple's 30% commission fee. So just really huge news. Thought everybody should know that the time to invest is now. There is prime opportunity to invest. This is not investment advice, just my own crazy ideas. But I really see 
blockchain technology as the future. Web3 and beyond is the future. Now that regulation is beginning to pass, now is the perfect time.